What's up, everybody? This your boy, a Dog the Killer, and once again, I'm back with another video, man. Now, this video right here is coming by the one and only Shane Dawson. Now, as y'all do know, we did uh, react to the, the last video that Shane put up of Jake Paul and stuff like that, and I asked y'all to hit that like button before the video even start. Y'all showed me so much love on that video that I told y'all that I will be reacting to the next one that Shane that uh Shane Dawson uploaded about Jake Paul. Now this one right here, he called this one right here the um the family of Jake Paul. Now, like I said, before we get to this video, if you're new to the channel, be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you new. We on the road to 20k, so I need y'all help to help me get there. And like I said, man, you know he's been doing like a lot of the, uh like a basically a documentary on Jake Paul and stuff like that with his issues. Is he a psychopath and all that type of stuff like that? But like I said, man, y'all showed me so much love in the last video. I'm going to ask y'all again, can you please hit that like button for me? It will really, really help me out because this is going to be another long video, another 40-minute video. So like I said, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get straight to it, man. Let's go. I feel trapped in the mind of Jake Paul. And I want to get out. <laughs> so do I jump into the mind of Logan? <laughs> so, okay, I wanted to like jump in and do an update, and also a disclaimer, and also an apology. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> uh, I do actually want to apologize because there was some backlash and people feeling offended and feeling like I was making a horror movie out of an illness or disorder. And I 100% understand. I think I got carried away with the whole like, Ooh, I can make this scary. I love editing scary stuff and like and I didn't completely think it through and, and like to treat to, to be honest, it did seem scary, yo. I ain't gonna lie, cause like the horror that's the kind of stuff you do see in horror movies, like the sound he was using, the, like some of the people he was using, like with the mask and stuff. But to be honest with y'all, it didn't bother me at all. I kinda still enjoyed it. So y'all let me know what did y'all think about it, man. It didn't bother me at all though. Treat a person like a scary monster is like not cool and I shouldn't have done that. So I apologize for that genuinely. Another thing I saw was people saying it's insensitive that you are like trying to diagnose Jake without him knowing. The truth is he knew the whole time. Did Shane tell you what it is really about? Yes, he did. He told me before the series started what it was really about. I was like, yeah, bro, like go for it. Like, let's, let's do it. In episode one, I said, do I think he's a sociopath? I do want to sit down with a, like a professional to, to get their opinion on that. And I told them I'm going to do that, but I cut it out. And the reason I cut that out was because I was like, oh no, I want to be like more mysterious, which I should have done. There are things he doesn't know. This is definitely like new territory for us. <laughs> like... no. So that's what's happening. Jake is coming. You'll be in episode five. Today's episode is about his family. Now this is the disclaimer part, his mom. I know she's not loving this series and she's taking it kind of hard and I understand. 100% it's her son, it's her family, it's like these are real people, right? These aren't just characters in a YouTube video, these are actual real people. And after learning so much more throughout the last month and a half, now I understand why the mom makes videos the way she does. And you're gonna see some of her videos today and you're gonna be like, oh, it's not great. But then when you find out why, it just kind of makes sense. And now I feel kind of bad. She is probably the only person older than me who can really get through to him about most things. So I don't want like a bunch of people to go hate on Jake's mom. Like, I just don't want that. She doesn't deserve that. And you'll see why. But speaking of the family, so this is where it gets interesting. I talked to Logan. Um, I... <laughs> I, I've been afraid of uh, Logan this whole time. And that's a fact! That's truth, guys. That's how life works. I didn't want to go into this, like, trying to expose Logan or talk about Logan. It was about Jake. But then the more I fell down the holes and the more I realized and researched and the more I learned about sociopaths and the more I learned from Jake personally and people in his family and people that talk about Logan. I'm really nervous, guys. Like, it's my first 
a big scene in my first big Hollywood movie. And I just wanna, I'm just, yo. <laughs> I'm just kidding, yo, freaking hell. This is what I was born to do, bro. The more I was like, uh, I can't not talk about this because it's Jake's brother and they were raised by the same people. Like this is connected. I never talked to Logan directly and said, hey, just letting you know I'm doing this because everybody said I didn't have to. Everybody's like, he's not gonna care. He didn't care about filming a dead body. Why would he care about what Shane Dawson's doing on fucking YouTube? But like that was how my brain worked. So he tweeted, I'm gonna make a response video to Shane's series. And I had a fucking panic attack <laughs> uh, and started freaking out. So I DM'd him um, and he said I could share these. So I'm gonna share them. Okay. <laughs> this is a lot. I said, sorry if you were offended that I kind of insinuated maybe you were a sociopath. And then he responded with, um, yo dog, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> was it D-A-W-G? No, it was just dog. Oh, whoa. Yeah, we stand. <laughs> <laughs> I am like ner- Oh my god, this is so weird. What is this? I, no, I, I gave up on answering that question a long time ago. Okay. Yeah. Yo, dog. I think what you're creating is fucking incredible, in all caps. Oh, nice. I know you're a good guy with good intentions. I just feel like the audience might be slightly ignorantly misled, and I want to address a couple of those things. I trust you. And I was like, whoa. First of all, thank you. Wait, so do you think you might be a sociopath? There was a couple things I didn't read in that message that kind of seemed like it. I was like, do you think you're a sociopath? They're like, what do you mean? And then he said, I'm on the sociopath spectrum. Okay. I never lose. So I'm not a therapist and Katie's not around. So I don't know what all this means, but I'm gonna say, I'm gonna kind of go over it. He said, I'm on the sociopathic spectrum. I wouldn't say I'm a sociopath, but I would absolutely say I have sociopathic tendencies. And at the beginning of the year, I was at a place in my life where they got the best of me and they consumed me, which is when it gets dangerous, obviously. Life is more complex than he's a sociopath or he's not. Jake, for example, definitely has tendencies, as we all do. Which is interesting, as we all do. But he's also nice and empathetic as fuck. And at random times and off camera, he's so nice for no reason, like feeding the homeless. This is a trait he's had that I've always envied. Mm. Which I thought was kind of interesting. Wow. That's, right? so, that's so wild to have the emotion. And a lot of people be like that, y'all. You know, like a lot of people be on YouTube, man. They might act crazy and do stupid stuff. But like when the camera ain't rolling, bro, they can be like the sweetest person in the world, dog. But you know, like I said, that's just how it is, though, man. Of envy about somebody right. having other emotions like that. Right. That almost doesn't make any sense, but I, I guess it kind of does. But it's right, it's complicated, right? I said, do you feel empathy? Because it, if you feel empathy, then you're not a full sociopath. He said, of course I feel empathy. The level at which I feel it differs for each topic or subject though. And then I was like, if you want to talk to me in person for the series, like, I'll like let you take control of that conversation because I'm actually very curious. I've never heard somebody admit that they had sociopathic tendencies. That is fascinating to me, yeah. right? And I don't know if he's manipulating me or if he's like, I don't really know, but I have to respect him for saying that and for being like okay with me saying that he said that. Yeah. And I mean, I've seen videos of Logan like at funerals, right? He's talked about this. He doesn't cry at funerals. He vlogged it at a funeral. Everyone is gonna die. <laughs> And I, I'm sorry, like I hate to be the one to break it to you, but death is, it's going to happen. It's inescapable. So he didn't have empathy in that situation, but is that his fault? No, if he has sociopathic tendencies. And I think um, you're emotionally, uh, and you can say I'm full of shit if you want. Nah, I know what you're gonna uh, say. You know, emotionally you're just not connected not. to death the way I am, for example. Um. I think he is right. I shouldn't be pointing a finger and being like, you might be a sociopath because that's fucked up. And I was wrong for doing that. But I'm really fucking excited about this new chapter because like, this is a shit I'm interested in. Like, whoa, Logan Paul just said he has sociopathic tendencies. Logan, like Logan Paul just admitted to that. And I like that because it makes sense. Yeah. If he would have just said that from the beginning and said like, dude, I have sociopathic tendencies. I was raised a certain way that made this happen. Trauma, whatever. And like, I don't have an empathy switch or something. Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't turn on. 
and it didn't turn on, and it's a fucking disorder. I think everybody would have been like, huh. Yeah. Right? If it's one in 25 people, there's a lot of fucking people hiding out there who are afraid to admit that they have tendencies like that. I guess they're not afraid. I don't know! <laughs> Maybe there's more than we think where, you know, there's a quote-unquote sociopath who's not dangerous or evil Then it's like, okay, then that then that's like an right. exception. I guess it's it's yeah. it's, it's wild And then the last point I want to make is that we are not all abusive monsters or serial killers A lot of us are just completely written off as abusive And that's what Logan said in his first DM to me that he said I think people are getting confused and thinking sociopath and psychopath are the same thing and they're not He's like, I am not a psychopath He's like, I'm not a sociopath, I just have tendencies. But I'm not a psychopath for sure. And a psychopath is somebody that was born that way. It's in their brain. A sociopath is made. You guys saw it. My family is so lighthearted and, and although we did get serious and we did mourn, what we what today was was a celebration. Sometimes you might feel things which uh, I think are okay as an actor, like I'm feeling emotions. It's a good thing. What even is that conversation? That Iconic. I Logan know. Paul being like, yeah, I have tendencies. Oh no. I mean, just being, because I don't want to talk to somebody that oh, really man. is like, oh, yeah, it's not my fault. Oh, yeah, oh man, you've been wanting to talk to a, a, well, a person with sociopath tendencies. If it just happens to be Logan. Whoa. Oh man. How many parts is the second end of being? What the heck are you doing? Ready? Yeah. Here we go! Oh my god! Yeah. Oh my god! That's how we do it! Now I challenge all the Jake Paulers to do it. Yo, I can never be as cool as my dad. I'm never gonna be as cool as him. Dude, what are you doing? Dude, I've been tased before. It doesn't affect me. What? Oh, maybe if I go to his channel and search like oldest videos. Oh, yeah. Jake Paul, Daily Life 1. It's Jake Paul! Not much has changed. See the red light? Come on, I'm running it. Getting that tan on though. Swag, 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 swag. Hashtag tool, swag, swag. Why are you always trying to jump out the window? Don't jump. No, don't jump. Don't Telling jump. the dog not to jump out the window. That's good. Actually, if you what? jump, if you jump, you can actually pool. land in the pool. So if you want to jump, go ahead and jump. Just go ahead and jump. Do it, come on. Jump. Jump in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Two seconds ago. This is my bay catcher. This is how I catch bay. Let's go. Damn it. Damn it. I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> the, the first video you clicked on there. Great. Let's see how it ended. <laughs> get him! Get him! Get him! Put him in there! Put him in! Come on! Put him in the water! Put him in! Put him in! Put him in! Put him in. <laughs> Sorry. Am I hurting anyone? Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Property. What's up, guys? So that's the end of vlog day number one. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm super tired. Good night. It's Jake yeah. 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 So... It's always been... Kind of the worst. Listen. All I saw was, um, you know, breaking the law, telling an animal to kill themselves, jump in the pool, telling your friends to beat each other up, come on, what are they? laughing at a security guard, am I hurting anyone? Yes. Saying you're gonna catch a girl with a net. Damn it. Anything else? Damn. Hmm. No dead body.
True. Have you ever been around somebody like that? No. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think. I don't think we're gonna be friends. <laughs> like, I don't think we're gonna like hang out. Right. I don't. I don't. Why not? Sorry. I want to cancel this. <laughs> Is it too late? <laughs> I have hope. I still have hope. For this what? Is gonna be I don't know. <laughs> I feel like something I haven't done yet is uh, look into Jake's parents. Getting to know the parents will help me understand the child and why Jake is the way he is. Usually, I would just meet them. <laughs> but luckily, both his parents are on YouTube. <laughs> so, so this is the dad. I have like no idea what to expect. What's I've this? heard weird things about the dad, but I've never I've definitely seen. heard stuff, yeah. Like on like Phil DeFranco or Keemstar. Or but Deji said that Jake Paul and Logan Paul's father, Greg Paul, he attacked a fan at the press conference. Fuck Jake Paul! Fuck Jake Paul! The haters will never, ever have an effect on the Paul family. We all make mistakes. Dr. Phil even said, hey, Logan's a good kid. GP's out. Right. I don't know. All right. I mean, I'm not going to judge yet because I have, literally have not seen him. What's this video called? This is called... <laughs> Sorry, this video is called Logan Paul's Dad is Extremely Creepy. <sighs> All right, I'll judge for myself. In light of recent events regarding Logan Paul filming a dead guy, left me with a couple of questions that I'd like answered. The most important question being, why is Logan Paul Logan Paul? I got to thinking about that the past couple of days, and I came to the conclusion it 100% has everything to do with parenting. And that's what happened here. So, whose nuts did Jake Paul and Logan Paul come from? All right, the culprit here is none other than vlog dad Greg Paul. <laughs> Yo, what's happening, folks? And if you think this is cringy, we're just getting started. Ohio workout routine, savages only. Now my dad is like, yo, I'm a better kisser than you. I got more experience, bro. Dad, there's only one way to settle this. We yeah, have to kiss the same girl. So am I picking the girl? And then you have to guess, you have to say one, two, or three was the best, okay? Maybe All right. four. Contestant number three, step on up. She's underage. The girl was, hold on. After looking further into this, I can confirm the girl was not underage as many videos have claimed. So they tried to say that she was underage when he did that, but I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that, man. She's 22 years old. I don't wanna like, <laughs> I don't want to get involved in family drama, but I almost feel like that might be inevitable. I mean, I guess if this is like a whole deep dive investigation on why he is the way he is, then we have to look at the I mean, that's like, I mean, I, I went to school for psychology. That's like the number one thing that they talk about. Oh wait, there's like news about the dad? What? Wait, there's like news? Nick Crompton reveals Jake Paul's dad abused Team 10 members and employees. Greg Paul, the dad of Jake and Logan Paul, has reportedly completely taken over Jake and Logan's businesses. People had issue with being verbally abused, watching their coworkers be fired around them and not being kept in the loop. Apparently, Greg Paul doesn't know how to act. He calls people and and derogatory terms at work. If that's true, then that definitely counts as verbal abuse and we'll have to wait and Okay, I wanna to talk to Nick about that. Let's see if he wants to talk about it. Which one should I click on? My ears are crooked or I stole Jake's diamond? What is what is this? What channel is this? <laughs> this is Bob. Is that him? Oh, that's him. Yeah. Calm down, Apollo. Apollo, calm down. Apollo, Apollo, calm down. 
Who did that? Which one did that? You guys like my new shirt? Half and half. What happened? Dad is vlogging and in the background, the dog is barking. And the girl's holding it and then Jake and Logan are trying to tell the dog to be quiet. And then Logan grabs a plate and smashes it right in front of the dog. Really? And it's like, be quiet. Like it's like a joke. And the dad's just like, watching. Like my new shirt. You guys like my new shirt? It's not like they, it's not like they kick the dog or something, right? But like the fact that they broke a plate that close to a dog. Is it on camera? And it's on camera and the dad, and nobody's acting like it's crazy. It's weird. Yeah. Right? A hundred percent. I mean, it was Logan that did it. Not to stick up for Jake. <laughs> but Jake was like just kind of watching. Calm down. It's okay, buddy. Like that's next level. Uh, what are you looking at? He took his shirt off. Gone sexual with his son. With his... Hmm. They're exploiting him a little bit. That's a little weird, right? Okay. Um, I'm gonna hold my thoughts until I see more from mom. Are they together? I don't think so. I've never seen him like in the same place. Oh wow, mom's not even in dad's other channels. That's, that's a messy divorce. You know, put her in your box, bro. What? <laughs> I'm trying to make a joke. Jake Paul's mom. Oh my God, is that her son naked? Where? In the zip lining one? Like a sensor bar? Whoa, literally. What is this? Literally, what is going on? This is like too confusing to even understand. I'm gonna give everything a benefit of a doubt until I meet all these people. What I hope is going on is the mom has no fucking idea what's happening and neither does the dad and they're just vlogging and then maybe somebody's making their thumbnails and titles. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Okay, uh, what do I click on cuz- Oh, okay, with eggplant. Wait, what? Oh, with eggplant, TMI, with Logan and the eggplant. Oh. Literally. Oh, 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 I hate this. <laughs> uh, do I click on the hero or her talking about her son's dick? That's what it is. I don't know. <laughs> I'll start with the TMI. <laughs> I mean, let's just keep it real. Fucking whoa, Transformers shit. <laughs> so far, I'm in. So today, I decided since there's not a lot going on to watch Logan's vlog, I just had to comment and get involved. Is there, Shake is your there... parents' hand, which I liked as a what young. What do you mean? That's Greg's fault. Greg should have taught Logan to walk up to the door and shake parents' hands. That's the boy's job. I mean the dad's job to teach the boy. Greg didn't do that either though. <laughs> wow. What, what, was she just like dissing Oh her yeah. Like feud? Well that not only was a feud, but that was like kind of telling. He didn't do that either. What does that even mean? I now, now I don't even feel bad about getting involved in family drama because they literally are doing it. They're having family drama in their vlogs. Like, literally, yeah. Why did dad beat my ass when I was growing up? Did I beat your ass? You, you, yeah, you, what you up, dude? Oh, dude. <gasps> Does Vlogmom reveal who she likes better, Logan or Jake? Ah! He's like using, using, that's as clickbait. Good afternoon, Pamela. How are you? I just- she in the suicide force? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. It's just like, I saw Logan's video. It did pretty good. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, here's my Q&A. Is that going to, are you going to keep doing the video? <laughs> I have to say a joke or else I'm going to have a breakdown. Okay. Hi to the family. What? 
Say hi to the family. Jake's in it. What's that? You know what that is, you guys? Goofing with me. What is it? Are you vlogging? What's that? I'm so excited. Look what came. Look. so fucking uncomfortable. What do I do? <laughs> Andrew, help me. <laughs> no. Okay, I love you. I've never vlogged a birthday gift before. I love you too, honey. Yeah, happy birthday. Okay, that is revelation number one. I'm gonna say something to put everything in perspective. Think about it this way, right? Justin Bieber has done a lot of the same things that Jake has done, right? Like yeah, 100%. Speeding and For driving recklessly through their neighborhood. And this is the kind of behavior that is unacceptable to be done by anybody, anywhere. Justin Bieber admits to cheating on Selena Gomez. Cops were called for excessive loud noise. Imagine if Justin's mom and dad were vloggers. And imagine if Justin Bieber's mom put up a video called who do I love better? Which child do I love better? And had Bieber in the thumbnail. I think as a society, we would all be like, oh, that's so fucking sad. Oh, that's so sad for Justin Bieber, right? I think everybody would feel that way. It would be like a news story, it would be on TMZ, it would be like a thing. Yeah. Because Jake is hateable and fun to hate, it's like nobody's talking about this. Because it's on YouTube. Because Justin Bieber's not really a YouTuber. Right. But in, in the YouTube world, everybody's a character, so it's not like they're real people. Oh man! Right. Whoa! When you put it like that, because that just seems so like I don't know what the word is for that. <laughs> wow! Look who's here! It's Jerica. What? Time to go, guys. Yeah. I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give a about your vlog. <laughs> You're so mean to me. You need to leave. No, that wasn't mean to you. That's just like that's what I'm saying. She didn't even look at you. <laughs> Erica doesn't want to be on camera, don't you get it? But neither did Jake. I know. <laughs> so, morning, Jaker. We got sleep and beauty. Yeah. Okay. I love you, Bob. Love you too, guys. When he walked out, when Jake walked out, he literally turned back around after he saw his mom was down there vlogging, like he didn't want to come down. I'm sure that the mom loves them. And I don't blame her, cause she, I think she's probably so excited that people are like watching and she has a vlog channel. Maybe she's feeling a little bit like, oh, I, I have a thing too. 100,000 subscribers, vlog mom. Look at that. I love it, you guys, and it's all because of you. But what was their childhood like? Were there no boundaries? And I don't know. I mean, I guess I'll ask Jake about it. I don't want, I don't like get involved in family drama, but maybe he wants you to, you know. He knows he knows how you talk to people on camera. Why is he wanting to do a video with you too? That's another thing. Maybe he kind of is hoping that somebody kind of swoops in and kind of helps him with stuff like this. Like if he actually talks about this stuff and is real about it, like that, that's gonna fuck me up. Which I can't do because people are gonna say like, oh, you're fucking like trying to make him look good and you're fucking whatever. Like that's all you do, Shane. You cry with people and you make them look good. Like, I kind of feel a little bad for him too. I know, I don't wanna say I feel bad for him because people are gonna think I'm lying. Or no, I get it. I mean, I definitely get it. Bad. I mean, maybe he's not that bad. Maybe he's like, he just is a byproduct of of the people around him. Maybe that's not even who he really is. 
Team 10 is a dysfunctional family. My family is a dysfunctional family. Big Everything Paul in my life is one big Wait, dysfunctional sh Jake Paul throughout my life. Yo, yo, yo. If you're new here, my name is Jake Paul and this is my channel. I'm currently 19 years old. I live in Los Angeles with my friends, Team 10. I'm an actor in a couple of movies and I make videos online for you guys. There's a lot more to the story and today I'm going to draw it out for you. My parents' names are Greg Paul and Pamela Stemnick. They already had another kid named Logan Paul, so this made his brothers and he was older by two years. Logan was also a savage. And I spent my whole life with them basically side by side. My mom gave me my nice and caring side, while my dad gave me my manly and hardworking side. My mom was a nurse. My dad used to be in the army and then became a real estate agent, and from the time I can remember, my parents instilled in Logan and I a great work ethic and a competitive spirit. Whatever we did, we wanted to be the best at, and we had the work ethic to match that. My brother and I would always train and work out to become better at playing football. My dad, Logan, and I would train all the time and push our limits to become better athletes. We would always see who could run faster, do more push-ups, and so on. Right around this time, my dad bought my brother and I a camera so we could record our football games, watch them back, and see how we could improve. My mom would be the filmer, and she was also our biggest fan. And our dad was the head coach of our Wee League team. Football aside, Logan and I took the camera and... Like, I'm not a therapist, but your dad's the coach. And then you have to watch it again, and they tell you what you did wrong. The competitive spirit thing is a lot. Logan and I took the... Yo, like I told y'all before, bro, like, when I be watching this, it be making me feel like I'm watching a movie or something, y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Like I said, if you have made it this far, please, please hit that like button, man. It will really, really help me out. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, hit that sub button, man. But uh, let's keep going, y'all. We about, we about getting close to the end, y'all, but it's been good so far. Camera and started filming random stuff we did around our house. We started watching YouTube videos as our form of entertainment. Our favorite channel was called Smosh. We loved their videos and wanted to create our own channel. So, being the savages we were, we did. And we called it Zoosh. God damn it, Logan, what were we thinking? It was almost the exact same as Smosh. In the meantime, my parents had started fighting and eventually got a divorce. This was a bit of a hard time for Logan and I, but at the end of it, it taught us a lot about life. By the time I was in middle school, as you can imagine, I was the class clown. Always causing trouble, making jokes, and I couldn't sit still. I didn't like school. I still don't. In 8th grade, our class would go on a trip to Washington, D.C. at the end of the year. But you couldn't go on the trip if you had 15 behavior strikes. By the middle of the year, I had 14. So, I became a good kid for the rest of the year and got to go on the trip. Savage. As a freshman, I no longer wanted to go to the NFL. Football just wasn't as fun anymore and wrestling seemed to interest me more. Can I just say something, not to like diagnose or like get to whatever, but like, I don't know if, like it doesn't seem like it's a coincidence that like his parents broke up, he said he was going through a hard time which led to him getting 14 behavioral strikes. And then he decided, if football's boring, and now I want to wrestle. Like, that's a kid with a f fuck ton of anger issues. The only more aggressive sport than football is wrestling. Yeah. That's somebody who needs to take out all the anger, and they can't do it at home, so they do it. It's cool. I know they do it on YouTube. Okay. Oh my god, another fighting. Jake Paul! Your After wrestling season, I found myself lost. I didn't know what my future looked like. I didn't know what I wanted to do. This went on for a couple months until I found out about the Navy SEALs. It was everything I loved. Hard work, mental toughness, guns, fast vehicles, competition. For the next couple of months, that's all I could think about and do. Until summer came and Logan said to me, we should start making videos again. I was so down. Randomly, two weeks later, this app called Vine had just came out. I told my bro about it and he loved it too. Two weeks later, we got into a competition, of course, on who could get more followers. So, here we were in the oh middle of our lives, spending hours. This fucking competition shit right. sucks. Yeah. Well, also, like, they train us to have a competitive spirit. They're trying to get them to be better at football, like go to the NFL. Like, they kind of 
train them to do this. Right. I realized that I could make money from making videos. This was amazing. I didn't know what to do except freak out. It got to a point where I would go to wrestling tournaments and the competition would ask to take pictures with me or be freaking out. Sometimes, though, they would film me if I lost and post it on Vine talking that smack talk. The videos just made me laugh, though. The bad part about oh all of fame money is that attracts haters. People in my school, the kids that I grew up with, started hating on me. They would talk so much smack and tweet me the nastiest things. At first, this really upset me and it was hard to deal with. My mom would see the haters and call their moms and yell at them. <laughs> Love you, mom. Eventually, though, I realized that they were just jealous and that was their way of expressing it. I knew that I could turn my internet fame into something massive. And so that's what I set out to do. On my last day of school, I said goodbye. Most kids were still talking smack and a teacher even asked me, What are you going to do when social media dies? On my way out. I just smiled and waved. They didn't understand the vision. 17 and in Los Angeles with a lot to prove, I started grinding every day trying to make things happen. I started by going to acting classes, improv classes, and meeting with anyone I could. But I knew I wanted to do social media, acting, and business. This is when I created Team 10. It started with Alyssa and I, and kept growing, and then now we're growing more and more each month. I mean, Eventually, while all of this was happening, I then got called into audition for Disney Channel's new show called Bizarre Park. It was intimidating and nerve-wracking. My brother said to me, either come back Dirk or come back on your shield. After a couple of auditions and beating out the other actors, I came back Dirk. I remember getting the call and just freaking out. I legit almost cried. It was a dream come true. I filmed the first season of the show already and we start filming season two here in a couple months. The other week, I got to do the infamous, hi, I'm Jake Paul and you're watching Disney Channel with the wand and everything. <laughs> it's about to be 2017 and that's- now, now when the dude comes to like that Disney Channel, now I heard that when he did do Disney Channel, I heard he had got fired from it. Now if a lot of y'all know what happened, I don't know what happened, the reason he got fired from Disney. Because I did hear that, but I never knew like what happened, the reason he did get fired. So if you do know that, let me know in the comment section, man. That's basically my life in a nutshell. Posting every day on YouTube, acting, doing business, making comedy skits for Instagram, and laughing the rest of the time. If you aren't already a Jake Pauler, you better join the family because we are just getting started. And 2017 is going to be the craziest year yet. 2017 was like the worst year of his life. Yeah. My gut tells me that Nick got thrown out when the dad came in. I think the dad was like, no, come on, we're gonna do this. Like back in like football times. Whew. Like me and my boys, we got this. He's a coach. Yeah. And like, I respect the thought of like a dad who's like, come on kids, we got this. Sociopaths. Yes. So, what are the characteristics, I guess? Sociopaths believe that, like, the law doesn't apply to them. I hurt anyone? And, like, the rules don't apply to them. Always causing trouble. 15 behavior strikes. They drive fast, probably. Mm -hmm. Fast vehicles. So they always just think they're better. Whatever we did, we wanted to be the best at. Bigger. Savage. Savages only. So if they're watching a ton of YouTube videos. We started watching YouTube videos as our form of entertainment. Let's say someone was super successful. Our favorite, favorite channel was called Smush. If they saw that someone was doing this, they're like, oh, they got so many views. And like, Logan said to me, we should start making videos. YouTube? Then they'll be like, oh, I could do that too. We loved their videos and wanted to create our own channel. And we called it Zoosh. I can mimic that. It was almost the exact same as Smush. God damn it, Logan, what were we thinking? So they learn like what type of emotional responses get what they want. We love you. Make the heart. Yeah, make a heart. The people in the comments really feel for them. We love you. It's because we love you. And then they'll do then maybe they'll buy more merch or whatever, right? Power. Money. I realized that I could make money from making videos. You'll leave every conversation feeling like 
it was worse for them and you feel bad for them. I kind of feel a little bad for them too. I know. You know, or you'll view them in a positive light. You're like, man, that must have been so hard for them. They're such a nice person. Well, but they don't have emotions, so like they wouldn't cry. No. I legit almost cried. They can even be married with kids. Whatever they think helps them fit in, they're gonna put up the best show that they can. I've definitely met a few where I've got that gut feeling, but I don't get that gut feeling. I honestly don't think he is one. I'm gonna keep it real. Are those people probably better manipulators? Or they know enough about you? Damn. Bye! Cause I don't want to make it seem too Dear Shane Dawson You can't just say like You're a sociopath The word I would like to use is sociopathic tendencies So a lot of us, me included Will do some dumb shit Maybe some stuff that lacks empathy. Yeah. Strictly for views, right? It gets us views. I'm gonna be the biggest entertainer on the planet. Which gets us subscribers. Our motivating factor is to reach the next, next, next level. Next level, guys. 2.8 billion views on YouTube this year. Sociopath is boiled down someone who is m just more savage than everyone else. Savage. Savages only. I don't want to piss off the mom and make her feel bad. I just think that she has no idea how bad this looks. Is he going to be mad at me for talking about this stuff? I don't know. There, yeah, maybe, probably. We'll see, I guess. Mm. I am not looking forward to this. Okay, I'm going to cut. <laughs> You're fine. Oh, I didn't even know you were <laughs> The Alyssa situation with the ex-girlfriend. Um, Jake's kicking me out. <laughs> yeah. I watched her video. It was both of our faults, really. He shouldn't have treated me like sh day after day and then expect everything to be okay. And I saw videos of him like spitting on her. Was the thing about Logan like hooking up with Jake's ex-girlfriend? Alyssa had sex with his older brother, Logan. How much of all of that is real? It was not, that wasn't planned. That'd be sick if that was planned. But it happened? Yeah. Damn. Okay. Man. Do I got something in my head? Well, guys, as y'all can see, man. Yo, like I told y'all before, man, this stuff feel like, it feel like I'm watching an episode, bro. Like, this shit come on, like, every Monday or something like that. But, hey, like I said, it was Shane Dawson doing his thing, man. His editing is fire, bro. This right here was a really a good video. Now, y'all let me know in the comment section what did y'all think about this whole situation, man. But, hey. It, it's like they had like a lot of let's seem like they got like a lot of family issues and stuff now I don't know if they still got family issues now but some of the videos he was showing kind of seem like they got a lot of family issues and uh I don't think Jake made a bad thing saying that he didn't like school he, he would rather do YouTube try to pursue you uh, pursue YouTube and stuff like that you know but uh it is what it is so now he is successfully but guys like I said man y'all let me know in the comment section what did y'all think of Think about this whole video and everything that went down, man. Like I said, I'm looking forward to part four. I will be bringing that to y'all too as soon as uh, Shane drop it. I think the next one going to be Wednesday. I think he said he's going to drop it Wednesday. So if so, I will be bringing that to y'all. Now, if y'all did make it to the end of this video, thank you so much, man. 
and let me know in the comment section did you make it to the end of the video man I'm gonna see how many people is gonna come if they made it to the end of the video but like I said guys this your boy a dog the killer and I'm gonna catch y'all in my next video but please leave a like on this video if you haven't subscribe to my channel if you knew I'm on the road to 20,000 subscribers so I need y'all help to help me get there like I said leave a like drop a sub this your boy a dog the killer and I'm gonna catch y'all in my next video man